Hello beautiful geeks, how is everybody doing today? This is Louis coming to you once again through the power of the Geek Fortress and of course our good friend YouTube to bring you another retro movie one minute review. And today we're going to take our DeLorean 95 years into the past guys because we are going super retro. We're going to talk about Nosferatu. That's right, the 1922 movie guys. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. How was this movie? Let's talk about it and see what we've got. I must start by saying that this movie is a whole different kind of art, completely different from what we have today. So I will not put it up to par with modern horror movies. This was the first silent movie I ever watched in my life and I truly enjoyed the experience. The movie does get a little boring at times just because of the fact that you have a lot of reading to do and the acting seems a bit over the top at times. But we must remember that this movie came out almost a century ago, guys. For the time this movie came out, the visual effects as well as the black and white and music tones were good. There are times when you can tell they had to use color fil filters to hide the fact that they, they actually had to film during the day. But again, it's a classic that started the vampire epics. No, you Twilight. Bad. Bad Twilight. If you enjoy classic movies and love the art of filmmaking, this movie is a must watch. I love seeing the humble beginnings of cinematography in this movie, and to be quite honest with you, this movie had me more invested in it than some current horror movies. <clears throat> <clears throat> not talking about you. In any case, would I recommend Nosferatu? I would not. It, I may not say that it's for everybody, but if you appreciate film and its history, I highly recommend it. If you can now watch the Restore edition that came out recently, where the colors jump out more, even better. You know, you can enjoy the colors a little more, even though it was black and white and a couple of filters. Just don't expect it to be an interview with a vampire type movie when you watch it, because it's not going to be like that. But you'll enjoy it. Nosferatu gets an 8 out of 10. And if you don't agree with me, how dare you? Nosferatu! But what do you guys think about Nosferatu? Have you had the pleasure of watching it? Is it just not your cup of joe? You prefer to watch rather than read your movies? I completely understand. Maybe for somebody who watches anime or manga, uh, you don't watch manga, you read manga, but you know what I'm trying to say. If you're used to subtitles and stuff like that, it's not going to be a problem. The only difference is that it's a pause in between the shots for when the characters speak. But other than that, guys, I really think you should give it a shot. With that said, guys, you have been awesome. I have been Lewis. Let me know in the comment section below what other classic horror movie you would like me to do next, and I will do it just for you guys. Just drop the comment below, and I will do it. One Minute Reviews, Classic Edition, Retro. You guys have been awesome. Stay awesome, and geek on. Lewis. Howdy!